the way that it's evolved is I'll have an idea and Jonathan, I'm sure you've had this where it's like you get a podcast or, you know, a content idea and you're like, I really want to talk about this. I think it would be fun, but it doesn't fit in your content schedule for whatever reason. You're like, well, I had some interviews slated or, you know, I wanted to do this or you just wanted you're fired up about something. Maybe you're frustrated with the Spotify situation or you something else like the trendy stuff comes up and you're just like, like my profit podcast, my weekly show, is it really structured that way? And it's not formatted for that type of stuff. And I thought, well, I don't want to change that up and kind of throw those listeners off, but I can share that on my other show. So it's kind of like, if I have an idea now, I don't say, oh, I don't have anywhere to share this. I ask myself, well, where can I share this or where can I repurpose this? And that's really where like, I just I, we could geek out on repurposing content too. I won't even start down that rabbit hole because it, it's a deep one. But yeah. Well, I mean, I'm I'm, I'm glad I'm glad you actually kind of kind of gave me the end right there because your content strategy and just because I'm I'm subscribed to your channel on YouTube and like I said, I listen to your podcast, Crystal. How how? How do you, how do you, I don't even know how many pieces, but like, I don't know how many pieces of content you're putting out a week, but how, how is that possible? Like from the okay. video to the podcast episodes to just, just talk about it. Take your time. Yeah. <laughs> so, okay. Well, let's, let's break it down for anybody that doesn't know. Okay. So I have, I have the profit podcast. So there's two episodes a week there. I have the potty report, which is five episodes a week. There's mm -hmm. eight or no, wait, we're seven. Don't make me do math on the spot, Jonathan. I shouldn't, uh, have to, I, I opened this one. up for myself. I'll and then we, have, <laughs> then we have three YouTube videos a week plus my weekly newsletter. So that's 11 pieces of content that doesn't even include social posts or, you know, the Facebook group. So yes, it does sound like a lot. And for anybody that's listening, just starting out, please know I have been doing this for five years at like at minimum with blogging and understand. So just take a deep breath. This is not what you need to do. But now that you've asked, I've actually been talking about the idea lately of repurposing. I think that we all have it wrong. We have the model upside down to where a lot of people will create a YouTube video or a podcast episode and everything's finished, done, it's published, it's out in the world. And then they ask, well, what can I do with this now? But I invite everybody to think about it in the opposite direction of when you're actually planning it before you ever hit record on anything. Mm. You say, okay, here's a topic that I wanna speak about and you plan everything out. <clears throat> Excuse me, I use notebooks for a long time. I recently upgraded. I got my first iPad, y'all. I feel so fancy. Ooh. I've got my very first iPad. And it, but it's funny because my husband was like, well, what are you gonna use it for? I'm like, well, I, I use the journaling. I got a, I got a pencil <laughs> too. <laughs> and he's like, so you use your iPad like it's a journal? Like it's a pen? Yes, I do, that's what I do. <laughs> but then I convert it to text and it's this whole you know, super fancy thing. But what I will do is when I'm writing out an idea, I'll say, okay, this would be beautiful for a podcast episode. And then I would say, well, this part would work to talk about on the podcast, but it's more of a visual aspect. So I need to share that on my YouTube channel. And this would be great if I made this an Instagram reel because it would be really engaging and mm -hmm. so on and so forth. And then what I'll do is in my weekly emails, and Jonathan, you know this, if you're subscribed to my emails, at the very bottom is when I put the new resources, or I used to just put it like a PS, but then it got to be, I think I had like seven, like P, 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 S. Uh, and it was like those. so many, <laughs> it was so, so many. So now it's just new resources to check out at the bottom. But the whole idea behind it is to make it to where it's easier for me to think about what am I actually going to talk about? Because if I take something and create a podcast episode, I think of that kind of like the dry run. It's the rehearsal for whenever I do turn it into a YouTube video. It's, I'm not saying those words out loud for the first time. It's like mm -hmm. I've already done the behind the scenes. And even though I still have lots of mishaps, like the bloopers on my YouTube channel, if I just could just dump those somewhere for somebody to like cut them all together and compose videos, like it would just be hours and hours of me saying, uh, what was I going to say? 
I do that a lot, but it's just really all coming down to the planning that you have to do beforehand. And I think that we just have to flip the model on its head instead of saying, here's a finished product. What can I do with it now in the planning stages? Because that's really what I do. I spend probably 90% of my time planning things and wow. then I record and it makes the editing a lot easier because I don't make as many mistakes because I've planned it all out. I have a script or I have an outline and it just makes it easier.